Hey there, do you like doom metal? I do like it quite a bit myself. Sometimes the whole darkness and despair is it's it's fun, it's fun. And you see doom metal has this quirk that it goes slow. And the slower it goes, the better it gets. So what if what if what if we took all this book out and made it romantic? That's right. Bloody kisses by typo negative. You think that a genre that is epic and intense and it's, it's already fun, it can't get any funnier. But you remove the gloom and the result is this incredibly triumphant and uplifting music. It's just incredible. Incre incre inc incredible. But here's the catch. The, the thing is that this band like to troll a lot. It's so it's not just a happy go lucky doom metal records. It's a sassy doom metal fun metal record. And they had this sense of humor and the lyrics instead of being uh, Christ has abandoned me. They are more like she needs the body of Christ inside right now. Now my title is a little tricky because it makes it seem that the whole genre was never the same again after this album but it doesn't seem that many people managed to to catch that idea of very slow epic music with a romantic or uplifting edge. So not that I have seen yet and there, there is those guys they made that one album it's kind of cheesy but it's good, I liked it, I liked it. The other albums are not so slow, but still. And there is also that song by Ocean Size called You Can Keep a Man Down. It needs to be slower to approach that idea I have of slow motion, triumphant power metal. But I love that song, I love that song, it's great, it's great. It's one day, one day, once I remove all the noise out of my head and stop being afraid of making music, I, I'll make epic slow motion power metal music and it's going to be huge huge just huge <laughs> what all bloody kisses right everything in this album is irreverent to a fault but that's the genius of it that's the genius of it when you combine intense deep emotions with irreverence that's everything you could ask for about music that's everything you could ask for about life that is just incredible incredible and that's why this album is great that's why this album is great <sighs> there are two songs that aren't really romantic or sassy or anything there is Suspended in Dusk and Bloody Kisses, the title track. and But they're still quite different because they don't feel like evil tracks, you know, like something from Candlemas or something. They are sad songs. They're, one song is about Chamas, how you hate being a fucking vampire and the bitterness about not being empowered by, by your sucking blood abilities. It's just about feeling hopeless. And the other song is about the death of Peter's cat back then. And it gets very cathartic cathartic around the end too uh, they're, they're they're nice songs they, they, they are the closest to traditional doom metal but they they still have a, 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 a way to subvert your expectations yeah I don't know how the hell to get rid of that man we need to talk about the interludes. The interludes, I actually quite like the interludes. They're not bad. I like when you do weird noises and funny sketches and funny noises, funny noises with weird sketches too. I, I, but I think that you might want to remove them if you are into the whole Peter stick. I guess uh, I removed them from my copy. I removed them from my copy, but I put them in slow, deep and hard instead. Because I think they fit, they fit better there. We also have We Hate Everyone <laughs> mood. And, we, and Kill All White People gets a lot of shit from people, but that's its purpose. It's a song designed to piss you off. So if you want to drink the Kool-Aid, the song prepared for you, drink, drink the Kool-Aid. But you're not going to get anywhere because it's clear the people who wrote it were creating a discourse that highlighted not the importance of words, but in actions. And they also wanted to see the world born. To me, this song is as if I wrote something called Emasculate the Cisgender Western Man 
which will be the stupidest thing ever and it will probably piss off a lot of people but well now that i think about it i'm just doing this because i don't want the reflection to show all my glasses not just because i don't want to see you face to face so something like this so don't worry about that let me show you my track list. I usually, I usually just remove everything from blood kisses, that is those interludes and songs, and put them in slow deep and hard, and that's it. It might mess up my scrubbles quite a bit, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. For an album, for an album, for an album, I rate it 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, that's good. It's good. And the flower writing, I will say scarlet geraniums and archites. Yeah, we are going to start making a whole bouquet for this album, because some albums just represent a lot of stuff a great record i love it so goodbye my friend stay safe Anyway, goodbye, my beautiful souls. Stay safe.